Question five starts off with some code from an example notebook that you can investigate. And what it does is it has a function that gets the location of the International Space Station. It notes here that if you're running this in some Python installation other than Colab, you should need to, you may need to install the request library for, um, Running this in VS Code, if you have installed this as a part of Anaconda, then you probably won't need to install the requests uh, library. On the other hand, if you did a generic installation, you might have to go to the command line and say pip install requests. So let me just try running this first. Okay, so I did get, here's the latitude and the longitude, so my installation does have the request module already. So what I want to do is to modify the script to use a for loop to check the position 10 times. Okay, so I'm going to going to have to go from 0 to 9. And then each time I'm going to use if else statements to find out whether the latitude is positive or negative. If it's positive, I'm going to say it's north latitude. And southern and negative it'll be south latitude and then do the same thing for east and west and then wait another uh, minute so let's go ahead and and say create a loop to check the position 10 times Okay, for i in range 10. So that's, that's good. It'll, i will first be 0, then 1, then 2, etc., all the way up to 9. And it's just simply taken this code here and used it as the indented code block. So that's good. I don't need that anymore. Um, and this is really kind of a dummy variable. I'm not using it for anything other than just to count. So, but I, I think I'd like for it to be called count, since that's what I'm doing, counting from 0 to 9. All right, let's try this. Okay, that's cool. It did this without any delay. Now, what I want it to do is to have a delay. So, and the delay uh, should be 60 seconds. So, let's say let delay equals... 60. Actually, let's start off with a shorter delay of one second. Uh, so after it gets the latitude and longitude, then let's say, um, wait for the delay before checking again. Okay, that's cool. So the I need to use the sleep method or the sleep function from the time module. So I'm going to need to import time. Okay, that's good. Uh, so let's try this and see how that works. All right, great. It looks like it is waiting. One second between each one. All right, that's good. Now I need to do my checks and find out about the latitude and longitude. So the first thing is um, decide whether it's north or south latitude. Okay, so yeah, this is cool. All right, so I'm going to notice that the, the latitudes are actually strings. They're not numbers. So, and we can show this by printing the type of latitude and longitude, and we'll see that they are strings. 
So what this is going to do is convert those strings into floating point numbers so that I can do an arithmetic comparison of whether it's greater than or less than zero. If it's greater than zero, well, this is nice. It's north of the equator. Otherwise, it's south of the equator. OK, that's cool. Let's try that. Uh, invalid syntax. Hmm. What is wrong with that? I see what the problem is. I have an unclosed print statement. Let's try that. OK, so it's telling me these are strings. That's right. And so that's why I had to do this conversion to a float. All right, I don't need this anymore. Now I'm going to go ahead and add decide whether the longitude is east or west. So if the longitude is greater than zero, ooh, hmm, I think this is wrong. Let's go ahead and leave that. But um, in the Eastern Hemisphere, longitudes are positive. So I believe this is backwards. I can either change east and west or let's just flip this. Okay, I think that's right. Let's go ahead and try it. So latitude positive north of the equator, longitude positive east of the prime meridian. Okay, cool. And it's going to say that for all of these because I'm not waiting very long. Now, if I want this to actually check every minute, then I could go up here and increase the delay. 60 seconds. All right, let's try that. Okay, so now this is going to take a while. Uh, anyway, you can let this run and watch as the space station goes around the Earth. It should go in a different portion of the globe as time goes by. You might actually want to increase this to something longer than a minute. If you want it to be 10 minutes, you could do 600 seconds. Let's let it get to 60 and then we'll check. Okay, well, we can see it's moved a little bit. Three degrees further east, looks like about three, three degrees further north. It would also maybe be nice, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. It would maybe be nice to just have it print a blank line. in order to leave some space between each one of the times when it checks. I think that should be good enough. <laughs>